gave you guy gave you guys the easy one. Very very nice to you guys. I could have given you some factoring problems, but I figured it was a Friday. Let's be nice to you. It's the end of the class period. But please be aware, guys, if you multiply this, this is going to be a trinomial quadratic, and you're going to need to know how to factor it, OK? But we'll be, we'll be soft today and say, but anyways, so this is already in factored form. Cool. I like factored form. Now, I notice that it's irrational. So I say, oh, I have a denominator. Hmm. I, uh, labeling the domain, that means I'm going to have discontinuities. My discontinuities of a rational function occur when my denominator is equal to zero. zero. Now, this one's easy to do in your head, right? Um, but I just want to remind you, if it looked like this, right? What, that's what it would be multiplied out. You want to set the denominator equal to 0. Because sometimes you might have to use the quadratic formula, right? Or you might have to use you know, some other factoring technique. Fortunately, we already have the factored form here, so we don't need to do anything with this. And then here, you could either just use, like in this point, we can use our understanding of, oh, it's positive 3 and negative 1, right? Or if we want to remember back our algebra 2 days, we can apply the zero product property. and realize, oh, 3 and negative 1 are the values that make that negative. So I go and I graph 3, and I graph negative 1, and I use open circles because those are the values that are not defined, right? Wouldn't you guys agree that 3 and negative 1 make the denominator 0? Yes, so they're undefined. Is there any other numbers that are undefined? Nope. So guess what? Everything else. So when you're writing the domain, though, just like how we did over here, writing the domain, just write the domain of each interval. So we could say the domain is from negative infinity to negative 1, not, to, not contained. Negative 1 to 3, 3 to infinity. And there you go.